Ladies and gentlemen, Ministry of Health representatives and friends, Sin Tsao Kakpan. Good morning. It's my pleasure to recognize World TB Day with all of you here today. I often say that the health team is the single biggest team in the U.S. mission in Vietnam, and that is for a very good reason. It's because health affects all our lives, and global health security affects both our country's interests. So it is an important, a vitally important part of the relationship between the United States and Vietnam. 25 years ago, we established a new relationship based in trust and mutual respect. And health was a shared interest upon which we focused our efforts. Tuberculosis is one of the most neglected and underestimated problems of our time. Despite being preventable and treatable, TB was the deadliest infectious disease in 2019, causing 1.4 million deaths worldwide, killing more people than HIV AIDS. As part of our close partnership, the United States is committed to supporting the Vietnamese government to eliminate TB in Vietnam, where rates of the disease are among the highest in the world. We make that commitment financially through bilateral partnerships and global fund support. In 2020, we invested over $7.2 million through bilateral funding alone. We also make that commitment with technical assistance. Since 2002, the United States has worked with Vietnam's national TB program to build innovative and robust approaches that have transformed national strategies to end TB. In 2020, the United States, in partnership with the national TB program, has worked to expand the new double X testing strategy, which combines a chest X-ray and a rapid diagnostic test to screen those at highest risk for TB, including those with HIV. This strategy helped Vietnam to reach more people, diagnose TB earlier, and improve access to life-saving treatment. Laboratory diagnosis is the cornerstone of TB programs. In the last year, we jointly invested in the Vietnam TB Laboratory Network by introducing new technologies and automation and by supporting quality assurance. As a result, Vietnam has become a sought-after regional resource and provides technical assistance to TB laboratories in Myanmar, the Lao PDR, and the Philippines. This month, the United States, together with the TB and HIV programs in Vietnam, is supporting the launch of a shorter and easier to take regimen to prevent TB among people living with HIV. 12 weekly doses of two drugs compared to the usual treatment that takes nine months. This shorter regimen called 3HP is the standard of care in the United States. This year, we will treat over 9,600 people and expand access together next year. We have advanced treatment regimes for patients living with TB, notably by implementing new shorter regimens for drug-resistant TB in Vietnam. By collaborating with Vietnam and 11 other countries, we have proven through joint research that a new four-month TB treatment regimen is just as effective as the standard six-month treatment. This is a monumental achievement, as a shorter regimen leads to a faster, secure, a faster cure, an earlier return to work, a normal life, and less stigma for families affected by TB. So, what's next? The clock is ticking. We need to invest in game changers to end TB, better prevention tools, and an effective vaccine for TB. We need local solutions to find and diagnose TB disease earlier and improve access to TB services. We need innovation on a scale that outmatches the bacteria and ends TB. This will be fundamental to providing the best possible access and care for persons who suffer from TB in Vietnam and to meeting our combined national targets for ending TB. The United States is ready to partner with Vietnam to achieve the Ministry of Health's goal by ending TB by 2030. We all share a common vision of a world free from tuberculosis, a goal that is ambitious yet achievable with persistence, commitment, and continued collaboration. Thank you very much.